Hi, and thanks for tuning in to the Texas Flycaster Network. Be sure and check out the website, www.texasflycaster.com. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. This is the Texas Fly Fishing Report for Friday, March 23rd, 2018, and it is recorded on that same date. I try to keep this stuff fresh. If you don't know who I am, my name is Shannon. And I have the website www.texasflycaster.com. That is the place you will go if you want even more information about fly fishing in Texas. So for now what's going on is I had to move my activities indoors today because there's a construction going on or reconstruction going on next door and the wind is just howling so it's so noisy out there and the weather is so questionable that I just went ahead and moved inside. You're at the, the, uh, the heart and mind and soul and brain center of Texas Flycaster and where all the words come from. So, welcome. For those of you who really don't want to hear all this side talk, let me just tell you that spring has sprung. It's, the problem is it's very windy. Um, the other problem is that we're not quite warm enough as far as water temperatures. So, it's, it's, not, it's not picked up yet. We have those phenomenon like the uh, hybrids coming up, up rivers and things like that and in, in lakes gaining some activity as the flows start and things like that. If you don't know what a hybrid is, you're not from Texas, uh, we generally call them hybrids. They call them wipers in other places. It's a, it's a crossbred fish between a striper and a, and a sand bass I, as, I, as I know. Um, they're also called palmetto, and they're really great fish to catch on the fly rocks. They fight really, really hard. You can get them up to 10 pounds, and they're just spectacular fish to uh, do battle with. I've been catching them on a red over white clouser. Very, uh, very uh, aggressive hooks, uh, like the Timco 600 SP is the hook I tie on. Another, I tie on circle hooks, which have been just killer good. I, I never thought about those until I had to tie one on, um, I think it was last year. And the great thing about circle hooks is they, they let you catch, a, let the fish catch itself, basically, is what it does. They, they uh, sometimes that fly will be tumbling down and it'll be slacking the line, and I pick up the slack and there's the fish on. He's already done the job. So, it's great. Anyway. That's what's going on in a micro scale. On a bigger scale, there's rains in and out all over Texas, and it is making things a little bit unpredictable because um, the, right in the last week, the dams have started to shut down, turning off that hybrid action. Um, it also, without the rain in, in this week, it's allowed the, the rivers to clear up a little bit. So I don't have any river reports, but if you want to send me one, I'd love to hear it. Uh, but on the rivers, what happens is if you've got runoff or you've got releases from dams, the stuff's all connected and it gets muddy and it turns off. So that should be turning back on. You might have a day or two before the rains come again next week um, and clog, <laughs> clog and muddy things up for the river, river folks. Otherwise, uh, salt water is looking really good. Uh, Kenjo fly. Down in uh, Port Aransas, uh, Rockport area, Light and Fly down in the Corpus Christi, Port Aransas area, and Chuck Neiser, ChuckNeiser.com. Uh, he is another guy that, if you really want to support that economy that's been devastated by the hurricane down there, the Texas economy, instead of going to Louisiana and spending all your money there or other places outside of Texas, I would strongly suggest you go to the Texas Gulf Coast and, and hit those areas that are, that are in need. You know, the, the, the accommodations are a little difficult. A lot of these guys have already, you know, compensated for that by, by having accommodations for you that they recommend because it's, it's, there's not nearly as many as there used to be, not nearly as many choices because of the destruction and devastation. Uh, but I'm seeing some really fat, stubby, redfish from down in that area and it's uh, it's really interesting to me that that what they're getting is a quality a more quality redfish it's not as long but it's really big around really good girth on these fish so good shoulders so they're looking really good that's down there on the Texas Gulf Coast I run a scroll at the end of this of course and that scroll is ripped off from Texas Parks and Wildlife Department you should go there and subscribe if you don't want to watch all this stuff 
and uh, subscribe and you'll get an email notice or text I should say notice or email um, letting you know that the, uh, the reports are out they come out generally on Thursdays except when we have hurricanes and things like that and they uh, lay out the information for all the uh, inland waters and the, the Texas Gulf Coast very good resource what you do is you take that read that interpret that and then maybe you can uh, do yourself some good fly fishing on lakes and other places on the coast. Uh, I get a lot of questions from time to time on it just kind of runs in waves on clothing that I wear which is kind of strange but anyway uh, this shirt I did want to point out because it is really really comfortable and really really good fit. It's a mountain khaki skiff shirt. It's got good stretch to it, good ventilation here and the biggest thing that's important to me is it's trimmed to the body and it has sleeves that are long enough. So being a, a thinner person, I don't need the giant, I mean giant Columbia shirts. They don't do me any good whatsoever. So these, this shirt by Mountain Khaki is one I highly recommend called the Skiff shirt. Make sure you check them out. Um, I'm working on a few stories on clothing because the prices have gotten just outrageous in the last two years and I haven't bought anything in the last two years so I'm going through sticker shock and trying to work wrap my mind around all that thanks for watching have a great weekend and again be sure to check out www.texasflycaster.com you can you can start conversations below this video and you can also call me 940-380-0408 and I'll tell you anything you want to know thanks for watching